Are you guys tired of getting weak, brittle prints like this? And would like your end results to look like this? Stick around. Today I'm going to show you how to get that done. Hey everybody, my name is VJ and welcome to SandTube 3D, your best resource for all things 3D printing related. So today we're going to talk about how to avoid getting brittle prints uh, when you're actually printing with your 3D printer. Um, before we get started, let's address the elephant in the room. If you were to post this on your Facebook forum or on Reddit or anywhere that you get help or have questions, by looking at this, even I would say the very first thing people will tell you is calibrate your E-step. Yes. You do need to calibrate your step. It's very important to avoid getting prints like this. But I did calibrate my steps and yet I'm still getting prints like this. So what are we going to talk about today to fix these two issues? Easy. Speed and your nozzle temperature. They go hand in hand. A lot of people don't realize that. So why are these two things that are so simple so important? Let me explain it to you. Alright guys, so first let's talk about temperature. By now I'm hoping you've printed a temperature tower, which I can't locate by now, I don't know where I put it, but it's basically you can go on Thingiverse or my mini factory and download a thing called temperature tower. What that does is print um, at like 220, then 210, 200, 190, 195. It prints at different, different temperatures so you know exactly what your PLA is capable of and what is the best temperature to print at. Now once you've figured that out, you need to figure out at what speed you're going to be printing. The number one mistake people make is when they print the temperature tower, they leave their speed, let's say for example at 40 or the default G code that comes with it when you download it is at 40. So if you're printing this, right, at 40 speed at 200 nozzle temp, you're going to get this quality. But as time goes on, you want to print faster. So from 40, let's say you jump up to 70, and then you get this print quality. Why is that? This is why. All right, guys, so I'm going to demonstrate something for you. Please don't try this at home. Uh, this is basically a filament that you're going to get in your printer. Now, let's say the lighter actually represents the nozzle and the temperature that is at. So let's say this blue one here is at exactly 200, and we're going to feed this filament through the nozzle at 40 speed okay so basically what we're gonna do is you heat up your nozzle and then you're gonna do it at 40 speed so it's gonna go a little lower as you can see the filament is bending right that's because you sent it at 40 now, let's say all of a sudden you decided to increase the speed. Again, don't try this at home. So you got 200, but instead of 40, let's say you jumped it up to 70. Now your film is going to be moving faster through. So you can see, I'm not going to touch it, but it's still, it still melts the filament a little bit, but it's not as well as it did earlier because you're moving at a higher speed. Now, what you need to do to remedy that is you got 200 heat. Let's say this is an extra 10 or 20, whatever you want to do. So we're going to turn this on. So now, instead of 200, you're actually pushing, let's say, 220. And now you can still move this fast enough. I can just grab onto these. So as you can see, it's still melting even though we're going faster. That's because you've increased your temperature. So now your filament is actually melting at the point that it needs to melt, therefore giving you better print quality. Now, not only does this affect your print quality here to give you results from this to this this can also cause more problems so if you ever increase your speed you need to increase your temperature because they go hand in hand guys it, it could be anywhere from 5 to 10 degrees it could be 3 degrees 4 degrees uh, it just depends on your filament every filament is different so the very first thing you need to do is print a temperature tower 
when you print that temperature tower, print it at the speed that you're normally going to print. And most people normally print between 50 to 65. That is the average. Now, just a side note, the lower your speed, the better quality you're going to get on your prints. But it's going to take way longer time. So when you print the temperature tower, print it at the speed that you're typically going to print at. So don't print it at 30, at 200 degrees, because when you jump it to like 50 or 60, then you're going to have to go to 210. So as you raise, again, I know I'm repeating myself, as you raise the speed, you have to raise the temperature because they go hand in hand. They got to be equal to each other um, as far as the, uh, the temperature that you film it and melts at. Now, a downside to this, not this itself, but the down, a downside to not having the right temperature is you can also get clogs. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So as the filament is going down at a constant speed, the temperature is at 200. So at 200, at 40 speed, this is perfect. You get quality prints like this. Now let's say all of a sudden you're like, hey, you know what, I want to jump it up to 80. And you leave the temperature at 2. What's going to happen here is you're going to get a whole bunch of clogging right here. If you're lucky, you're just going to get it in the nozzle and it'll be a minor clog and you'll catch it and you can fix it. The reason that is is because you're trying to push this filament faster at that temperature and like I showed you earlier, it doesn't give the filament enough time to, uh, to melt. So what ends up happening is you start getting a buildup. You're still going to get filament out of your nozzle. That's why sometimes you get prints like this where the bottom is perfect. That's exactly how it's supposed to be. But after like the seventh, eighth layer, you start getting this, okay? So it's still gonna pull filament out of the nozzle, but it's gonna start getting a buildup. And the buildup will slowly work its way up into your tube or actually at the hot end here that you see as well. So it just depends on when you catch it. You can catch it while it's just in the nozzle. You can switch the nozzle out and you're good to go. Sometimes it creeps up a little bit higher, so you gotta disassemble. Sometimes it gets into the Bowden tube right about here, and you're gonna have to cut that off and uh, go from there. So temperature and speed also affects the way your machine performs. Um, if you don't want problems with your machine, figure out what temperature and what speed you need to print at. Now also guys, make sure you don't print at a high temperature either, and you'll know when you're printing at a high temperature, because you'll hear popping noises. So what that is when your filament comes down and it's really superheating it and you'll hear popping inside your machine. So if you ever hear that, turn the temperature down. Okay. Uh, what a disadvantage to that as well is that since you're printing at a higher temperature, your fans are, you're going to need your fans to work harder to actually cool the material down so it sticks well together. All right, guys. So if any of you have ever ran into problems like this, Go and leave it in the comment section and, and tell people how you fixed it or what worked for you. Maybe there's something I did not cover um, that you've done differently or people don't even know about it. Let's pass the knowledge on. There's too many of us out there to be running into problems and hours and hours of troubleshooting where one person can just give you a one minute tip and they'll solve everything for you. So let's please share the knowledge. I highly recommend that you guys do that. If you're new to the channel, consider hitting that subscribe button, guys. Notification bell if you want to know when I'm coming out with new videos. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave it down in the comment section down below. And you know I get back to every single one of you guys as soon as possible or as time permits. Uh, with that all said, guys, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. It is what it is. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you next print.